Hey, it's Richie with Sonic Dad in my workshop. So we're a couple of months away from Rogue One coming out, the new Star Wars movie. I'm really excited about it. And there is a particular spaceship, spacecraft in that movie that I've really uh, grown to like and appreciate the design of. And that is this, the U-Wing Fighter. This is a toy that an action figure goes in, but I love the design of this ship and I love the scale of it. So I had to get this because I want to hang another ship up here and I've got a little corner that I think it would look good in. So for this Sonic Builders Club project, what I want to show you is a really simple and easy way to make this look like it's been through the war. Um, use uh, some tech a simplified technique that uh, special effects model builders use to bring out highlights and give depth to detail, and that's washing. There are some really simple ways you can do that, and I want to show that to you this time on the Sonic Builders Club. For this project, we're only going to need a couple of items that are pretty cheap. Some acrylic paint. This is craft paint, about a buck a, uh, for a bottle. I'm going to use black and some gray. Uh, you need a cheap paintbrush, a couple of plastic cups, and I've cut these down so they're not as deep. And uh, it's helpful to have some tissue on hand and some Q-tips. And that's it. So let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is mix up our paint and I like to use a ratio of about four parts water to one part paint. We want it fairly thin. And the first one I'll do here is just straight black. And I'm also going to mix a gray, uh, but I'm going to put a little bit of black in it. I want the gray just a little bit darker like this. We've got our paint ready to go. Now we're going to apply a process called washing, which is really weird because when you wash something, it gets cleaner. In this case, it's going to get dirtier. We're going to add the dust and grime and dirt from uh, flying through space and all the battles that this ship has been in. So I mixed two colors, the black and, and the gray. The black is going to go on this darker gray color on the ship in a couple of spots, and the gray will go on the lighter color. What I'm going to do here is take my paintbrush in the black color. I'm using black on this dark gray detail so that it will show up. Get my brush loaded up and I'm just going to brush over that entire surface of the engine all the way around. Completely cover it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is let it set for about a minute but not much longer than that. Now with some tissue paper, we're going to remove some of this paint and this is where you get to decide how much of the weathering effect you want on your model. I like mine about that much. Get all the way around this engine here. Okay, that one looks good. Now I'll do the other three. What this process does is add some dirt and grime to the surface, but it also collects in the panel details, which uh, makes it really stand out. It gives us some depth and definition. really like how that looks. I've got my four engines done. I actually went back and put another coat of wash on and uh, dabbed it off again. I want these engines to look like they're uh, hard working in the war. I like how they turned out. They look good. I also put uh, some detail on this other dark gray. Now we'll do the lighter gray color on the ship and we'll do it in the same way. We'll take a small section at a time, completely cover it with paint, let it set for a bit, and then remove it with tissue paper. Now the longer you let the paint set before you remove it, the more paint will stay on the model. So you get to decide how grungy and dirty it looks. If you're working around the canopy and you happen to get a little bit of paint on the window, just take a wet Q-tip and wipe it off. It should come right off, not a problem. If you have any areas that you feel like there's just too much weathering on, you can take a wet paper towel and just rub over the area and you'll pull quite a bit off. 
and just adjust it to what you like. Okay, I've got all the washing done on this ship and kind of tuned it up to what I like. If you look at this picture from the trailer, there's actually a laser blast, a little burn there on the side of the engine, and there are probably more on uh, other parts of the ship. So I'm gonna add a few to this and I'll show you how to do that with a paintbrush. It's pretty easy. So I'm gonna use a little bit of black and a little bit of gray on a piece of paper. And then take my brush, mix it up a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it's better if it's not completely mixed. Then what I'm gonna do is dry this brush out quite a bit. We want it fairly dry to do this laser blast. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. So what we'll do is just dab this thing like this. And as it flares out, it looks like a laser blast. And there we go. And maybe I've got another happy little laser blast that lives right here. Maybe there's a happy tree. Yeah, he lives right there. Like that. And maybe he needs, maybe he needs a buddy right down here. Laser Blast should have a friend. You can dab off if you have a little bit of excess and kind of feather it out a little bit. There you go, a couple of Laser Blasts. So I'm gonna take this one step further by uh, dry brushing some highlighted details on the top of this uh, molded piping. And I'm gonna do that with some silver. I happen to have some silver. I'm going to put a little dab on some paper here. Dip my brush in it. And then, again, since this is a dry brushing technique, I'm going to dry the bristles out. Okay. And the idea is to just carefully touch the highlights on some of this detail and I kind of like turning my brush sideways so I just hit the molded portions that are sticking up and that'll really bring those details forward since the the really dark washing that we did takes those uh, corners and crevices and pushes them back touching the highlight will bring the top surface of those features forward and I'll just go around the engine and hit those highlights. All right, it's finished. Got it done. I really like how it turned out. Now it's time to clean up. If you're anything like me at the end of a project like this, you got it all over your hands. At least I don't have it on my face that I know of. So you got a little smudge there on your face. Where? Her? No, 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 the other side. Yeah, it's right over there. No, 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 no it's over here. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. This is how the U-Wing looked right out of the box. And here's how it looks with the wash and uh, detailing on it. I think it's a big improvement. I like it. Now this guy is gonna live right up here. I'm going to hang it from the wing. I'll use some fishing line and some fishing swivels and tie it to it. And that way I can bring it down easily when I want to. Well, there it is, I've got it hung up. I attached the fishing lines to a couple of swivels and they are hooked to a couple of ribs on my wing lamp, just like my other models. So I can easily take it down when I wanna go and have some uh, Star Wars action figure fun with my nieces and nephews. So I've got all of these other models hanging from ribs as well. I can pull those down anytime I want. Makes it pretty handy. And they all have a new buddy in town. 
Well, thanks for joining me on this Sonic Builders Club project. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe to our channel. Jake and I really appreciate your support. So until next time, I'm Richie and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our channel. Or click here to visit our website.